Hello everyone, I'm Lynette and this is Charm Grammy Crochet uh, and I'm a mess. Again, as usual, I'm always a mess. <laughs> uh, so today is July 2nd and I want to thank you all for joining me here in the dining room. I know it's not the iron room. Um, sorry, it's the dining room because this is where all my junk is right now. <laughs> we just got back from vacation and I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Uh, we had a great time and I know you guys didn't know that I was gone unless you caught on to the fact that I said I was filming in advance. I think I said that because I was going to be gone and I was gone and now I'm back. We went to Mexico. We had a great time. Um, my third granddaughter, Ariana, is going to uh, put some videos together of our trip and that will be another video. Uh, if anybody wants to see it, I don't know how long it's going to take her, uh, but we had a fabulous time in Mexico. And I would love to share some of the details with anybody that wants to uh, watch. I did not crochet a lot while I was in Mexico. The travel time I had in the airplane, um, I had crochet time there and I could have easily crocheted more in the plane. Um, we had a very early flight out on our way out and so i slept in the morning <laughs> as much as i could and then in like on the and that was i think we flew from cleveland to houston and then from houston to and i slept on and off most of that flight and then from houston to cancun um i had a window seat and i was checking out the window <laughs> <laughs> so I did not do much crocheting then. Uh, while we were there, I crocheted a little bit, um, but we were very busy. We did lots and lots of things, and um, crocheting was not amongst them for very much. On the way home, I was in the middle seat, and there wasn't a great deal of room for crocheting. <laughs> uh, so I did crochet a little, but not a whole lot because there just wasn't arm room for it. And that was fine. Um, that was for the majority. Well, I was in the middle seat the whole time. And it is what it is. I took two projects. Uh, and I did crochet some on the way there. I made a... Um, a beach bag. Uh, or a market bag, whichever you want it to be. Uh, for those that have been around for a while, you know that I crocheted a uh, beach cover-up for my daughter. And I made it out of the Amer Americana uh, Cotton Fair yarn. Which I have yarn all around me here, but not, not that one. Uh, and I had some leftover, so I made her a, a, beach, uh, a beach bag to go with it. Or she can use it as a market bag. They have a fresh market uh, close to her, and so she might just use it as that uh and i gave it to her i finished it and gave it to her there so you guys haven't seen it and i didn't take a picture so just imagine it's a mesh bag <laughs> and i didn't follow a pattern i just crocheted a solid bottom and then a mesh bag i wanted it to be where you could lay flat and put all your beach stuff in it and and then pull the cords it didn't work out that way it is what it is it's fine uh so then the other thing that i crocheted Wait, I just had it. Oh, I have stuff all over. Uh, the other thing that I worked on is in this temporarily in this bag and in this bag. It's in two bags. I don't know why. Don't ask. I'm trying to get organized. It's not working. When we came home, we had, you know, I had to go visit Dad. There's going to be a lot of chatter in this video and not a lot of crochet, I'm sorry to say. Um, but I have been working on, and I started this to be a beach cover up for me for this trip we just went on and I started it in, I don't know, January or so. And it is now July. <laughs> it's still not done, but I did work on it some. And so here's what I did. Um, this is the winter ice shawl and I can't remember whose tutorial it is, but I will link it in the description box below. 
Uh, and this is what it's looking like at this point. And I worked on it and I did four, I think the last time I showed it to you is down here where that stitch marker is. And this is what I've done since then. And um, it's beautiful. I mean, I think it's gorgeous. You can see up close, the stitches are really, you know, it shows great sti stitch definition. At this point, it's just a two row repeat, so it's pretty simple. But somewhere along the line, I made a mistake. I didn't, I, I ended like he, like here instead of here. I don't know why, but I got to like this point and I turned my work and I went backwards and I did that. And then like a couple rows later, I realized that I wasn't at the end and like I this whole half a stitch was off and I'm like, how did I do that? I don't know. And I thought, well, it's two rows. I'm pulling it back because I want it to look nice. And it ended up being four rows. So that took a lot of time because this is a um, a fingering weight yarn. And I'm using a purple, what is this, four millimeter hook. So it's a lot of crocheting time for very little progress. And I do remember now the reason I quit crocheting when I stopped uh, in the airport what, or on the airplane was because I came, I came to this frayed thing here. And of course, they don't let me have my scissors on the airplane, but I do have one of these necklaces. Um, and it works really, really well if you have it on you. <laughs> I had it in my carry-on under Roy's chair at the very bottom, and it was just too much of a pain in the rear and to go searching through this I had this big carry-on um, bag and I was using it like a purse carry-on kind of thing and it like it had mostly yarn and whatever but anyway it was hard to get to so I just put it away um, but I did get the four rows that I pulled out redone plus a little um, and this will be done sometime next year <laughs> Or before uh, I used to have a lot more crochet time than I do currently um, so so there's that but this part is a bad place in the yarn and I am using a this is a stitch studio by Nicole uh, cotton colors back when AC Moore was doing you know and this is what the interior of the rest of it looks like so I'm not real far into this yarn uh, as you can see, because the thing is, the project isn't real big. But I have it in this ball sack that my husband loomed for me. Um, and it works out really, really well. He did a great job. It fits the whole cake in there really nice. And the project fits in also really nicely. Like so. And I can still stick the hook in. Ta-da! All in one little, which works out really nice when I'm sitting on my comfy couch and crocheting. So I have worked on this and I will work on it more. Um, now that Amanda's cover-up is completely done. So then, let's see, Nan's next knots. So Nan pulled the last two colors while I was on vacation. And I didn't take this project with me because it is big. It's big. Um, so the colors that she pulled uh, for the last two weeks of mine were number number eight was first, and that's the shrimp color. Um, and I'm using the Red Heart Bunches of Hugs. And I don't know why it looks like it's got a fat bottom and a skinny top. It's kind of shaped like me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, anyway, um, so this was week 19's color. And week 20 was my number seven, which is a pound of love in the color bubblegum. So I have put those on. And let's put that aside. Let's stick that back in there. And I am working on the last of the gray. Now the gray that I am using is my base color for this 
and this is what I have left. I have three rows to go of this. Um, so this pattern, except on the beginning side of the blanket, let me get to it. That ain't it. What is going on? I'm making, I'm not making a blanket. I'm making a runa. So, oh, here it is. A runa wrap. So normally throughout this, you do this window row, but to start with, we did not do a window row. So I have to do um, the half double and then double crochet and then half double so that that matches on both sides. And I'm hoping that I have enough of this. I have a whole nother skein big because this was a pound of love in Oxford gray. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be enough and I don't have to go dig out that other big skein of yarn. So keep your fingers crossed for me. And, oh, here's that. That doesn't need to be in there. Or that, that doesn't need to be in there. So I'm housing this in this bag that I've had for a really long time. I don't know where it came from, but it got, I had all the colors in another bag and the blank just got too big for all of that so when I get done oh, now I've got a hair in there uh, and I'm using a six millimeter hook on that my clover so when I get done with the gray then I'm going to use what was my number four color that I traded out when number four was it called uh, this princess and I'm going to go a border all the way around um, probably half double, two bolt rows of half double or half, maybe, probably do the half double, double, half double. I don't know. I have two. Um, so we'll see how far that goes. Because I also made pockets, so I have to make the pockets as well, and then that'll be done. Um, and I wanted to do the pockets, I, I was thinking in gray, um, Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I might use another color because I have a lot of yarn left. Um, let me take these out for a second. There. So I have this much of the pink that I used. And then all of these <laughs> are leftovers. So... I have lots of colors to choose from for pockets. So then that brings me to um, I did not do any of the crochet calendar from Dina with Homespun Fun. Um, the June calendar was another blanket made out of granny squares i still haven't finished the may blanket made out of granny squares so i didn't do june's uh, i didn't even do one square of it um maybe i will get to it uh or, or maybe i won't i don't know i don't think that i'll do a blanket even if i do one you know do something with the squares i don't think it's going to be a blanket this month's is this pillow um, and I have to tell you, I have no desire to make a pillow. You're supposed to do two of these, so it's the same front and back. And I'm trying to think what else I could do out of the kiwi fruit looking um, pillow. I I because I, I really don't want to do a pillow. I like the design of it, um, but I don't want to do a pillow. So I'm thinking you do less rows and do a trivet um, and do it out of cotton yarn. Or I'm thinking, I don't know. What do you guys think? What can I make that's not a pillow <laughs> and use that? I'm also thinking make it bigger and make. Uh, a throw rug you know a round rug um, I have a lot of pillows like couch pillows Kiwi doesn't go with anything 
um, but I could make, I have some colors that match my bathroom that I might be able to do something with with that and make a bathroom rug. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm also thinking some kind of wearable shrug kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I don't want it to be a pillow, so I would appreciate any comments about that that you could come up with. Um, what I could do, because I surely don't have an idea. That brings me to the Judy from Witch Pete's Crafts is doing the make along with the birthstone. So it's hashtag birthstone mal AU. Birthstone AU. Birthstone mal AU, I think, is, is the hashtag on it. Um, and I will link her. I'll link Dina uh, and one, uh, just her channel from the Homespun Fund for the crochet calendar. Uh, and I will link. Uh, Judy. This is what I did one of the ones for last month. I'm doing um, I'm doing granny squares to make the uh, for hers. So this month she said, because I haven't had time to actually make anything yet, it's only the second and I'm not caught up <laughs> with all my crochet alongs uh, even for last month. So I'm going to show you. This month is Ruby and so I'm going to use this red and she also gave us a, a pink. And so this is left over from my uh, Ruana. And I think I'm going to use these two colors to make four squares instead of just two. I hope I can get two squares out of this because I really love the red. It's a it's a cherry red. Um, this is Bernat Satin. And it is in the color Crimson. It's not dark like... Um, like a garnet. It's more ruby red ruby, I think. And it's very soft. I really like it. There are, it's a number four weight and there's 200 yards. So I'm hoping I can get two of my kaleidoscope granny squares out of that. Uh, and those are a pair by Bag of Day. Uh, and then I'm going to use this pink. And I will still have a ton of this pink. This is the bubble gum that I just used, that I just showed you from the Rowena. So that's that. Then I am also doing, I know, it's crazy. Uh, what's her name? Krista at the Secret Yarnery has a 2021 crochet along doing, you can make every month a baby blanket or just a sample of the squares that she's making for the baby blanket. And I was going to do a rainbow kind of effect on mine. So I did started with yellow. Then I went to the uh, lime green. And I don't have the yarns in here, so I don't know what they were. I think this lime green is something that uh, was a, um, a Dreamweaver yarn. If you're familiar with my channel, you've heard of that before. Uh, I can't get it anymore, and it was just sold locally here in the greater Cleveland area and I think I think actually both of these were that so my next color I thought since I have so much uh, left over for my Ruana I was thinking this one but maybe it's too dark this is the shrimp in the um, Not pastel enough, right? This is the uh, Bunches of Hugs from Red Heart. Um, so I think that one might be too much. And this one is a really close in the too much. It's not even, right? Or is that pastel, pastel enough? I'm thinking maybe not. This is also a Dreamweaver yarn. Um, uh, that one I don't think I have enough of. I have this light pink, but I don't think I'll have enough to do three out of one in a little. Because this is a perfect color. And then I really like this one. So I think I'm going to go with this for the next month. Uh, for, well, for July, August, and September. 
and this is also left over from my Ruana. And it is a uh, pound of love in the color creamsicle. I don't think I have enough of this, and I don't know if I have more because this color would also go nice in the mix of of those. So I'm gonna see if I if I have more of the pink, then I can do the pink in the grouping as well. Uh, the mile a minute I have put in timeout because I just haven't had time to work on it. So I still need to do, I think, May, June, and now July on the mile a minute. Mm. I'll catch up. I'll, I mean, I'll get it done <laughs> one day, one day. And I know I have a rule when I have all these whips going on that I have to finish two before I start another one. But these are year long. So I just really have to catch up. But um, honestly, I... Uh, Dittmer, Dittmeyer knitting. She's doing a felting thing. Uh, I just, I never even heard of her channel until I saw Priscilla from um, Distinctive Crochet. She put up a video and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I've always wanted to felt. Now I have a slight... I've had a slight in the last year. I, I didn't before, and then I found I developed an allergy to wool, so I was staying away from wool yarns. Uh, but I have this uh, light alpaca from, it's uh, Northland light alpaca, and it says it's 100% wool. It's only a three weight, and I have six in three different colorways. So I thought, I would do something like this to make the bag. She was talking about a fingering weight yarn and uh, um, a fingering weight and, or a worsted weight. But I don't really buy wool because like I said, I've had a problem with it in the past, but I've also had a problem with alcohol. And I went to the doctor about these allergies that I was having and was told they weren't allergies and I was given medication and I was, I'm glad to say, able to have a few drinks over the course of uh, my vacation and I did not get a rash and I did not get all itchy to the point of craziness or itchy at all. So I want to give this felting bag thing a shot. So I have 900 yards of these three colorways and they're multiple colors together. So <clears throat> I might pull a Gary and, and like mix them up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, Gary from Urban Yarns, how he takes these different colorways and does two together. If I do two, three, if I do two, well, then I only have 450 yards. So I don't know. But she said that was a, right. She said that was okay. If you had 450 yards of worsted weight. So if I do these two together, these two together, and these two together, you know, two at one time. Does that work as a four weight? Or is that going to be too thick? I don't know because I'm not that savvy. Um, and if they don't come out the same, I like Gary's stuff always looks gorgeous when he mixes yarns that you would never think would work together. And his are always gorgeous. Uh, these do not say that they are any kind of merino or super washed or anything like that. So I think I can use these. I did um, put a comment in the uh, comments of the videos where she was explaining about felting and making this felted bags um, from Dittmeyer. I think that's right, but I will link it. And I um, since... This is also a crochet along, but it's only a six week crochet along. Like my, um, this was a 20 week crochet along on the luck of the draw from Nan's Next Knots. And she's going to be starting another one, um, which I want to do. I just don't know what I'm going to make. I don't know that I'm going to make another Ruana. Um, I'm kind of tired of that pattern. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I've made a couple now and I'm kind of tired of those. So, and I don't think I just want to make a blanket because I have others that are just blankets. So I have to come up with a design or a pattern or a thing that I want to do. Uh, 
to make for that and and in the yarn that I want to use. Ah. So anyway, uh, what do you think? If I run these together in that way to make a bag? And if it doesn't work and it itches me, then I just will stop using this yarn and give it to Amanda. <laughs> Let her finish it. Because she doesn't seem to have a problem with it. And I think if and I have cream, so if it's just a little bit that it starts to bother me, I'll just use the cream that the doctor gave me and continue on. Um, because I've always wanted to try felting, and so I think it would be a cool thing to do. And so there we go. So I told you this was going to be a lot of chatter and not much finished stuff. <laughs> but that that's what we got, a lot of chatter. Uh, and I guess just catch up on what's going on with my yarn stuff. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video because I am done. I have nothing else yarny to talk about. Um, I will be doing another video. It'll probably come out tomorrow or the next day, which will be the 3rd or 4th of July, uh, on the yarn haul that I did. Um, Hobby Lobby clearance. I know I promised you guys I would do one. And I will. I have the yarn all separated by who's getting what and what's mine. And I'll show you what's mine in probably the next video. Uh, that's that's the plan. <laughs> Time is always of the essence. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed my chatter today. Uh, if you did and you're new, please hit the subscribe button. If you're old and you haven't hit the subscribe button, shame on you. Hit that darn subscribe button. Subscribe button. Uh, and thanks for joining me here in the dining room today. And once I get my yarn room back in order, I will be videoing back in the yarn room again. So I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you'll have a totally awesome day. See you next time. Bye.